What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? It's your Bicurb Curbs giving you guys a video on how to find your shiny frame. So today we're going to be doing an event Pokemon, which will be mainly the Lapras and the Milseri and the Appleton. So we're going to try to find our shiny frame so we can do these raids. Um, there's going to be a couple more videos like this. I'm going to be doing one star later on, but today we're going to be doing Doodoo Bot. Now, before we get to it, I'm just going to give you the heads up. It can be tedious due to the fact that trading with Doodoo Bot can take about an hour plus. So, it's all based on luck on if you get you lucky enough to trade with the Doodoo Bot. That's all I'm going to say, and let's get started with this video. Okay, so first thing first, a frame is basically a day. So, whenever you hear my frame is like 300 and something that means 300 and days so that is mainly what we're trying to find which date is our shiny so let's make sure we set everything from default so we're going to go ahead and set our timer uh to 0101 2000 it can only go up to 2000 and we're going to set our uh timer to 12 a.m uh so be flat so let's go ahead in game and find our shiny frame we did get it earlier but i messed up so badly so this is my third time recording it my first time was very short but i accidentally saved one day over my shiny frame and i was supposed to do the four day trick which i will be explaining you about that and the second one my shiny frame was going to be about seven thousand and i ain't got no time for seven thousand and up to be honest so Let's go ahead and redo this, and hopefully this will help out, and hopefully it's a smaller uh, frame. So right now, just so you know, we are in a specific location. We are basically where you get Orb Beetle. It's by two dens. They're like close to each other. It's right here in this corner. So what you want to go ahead and keep on dropping Wishing Stone from left and right until you get a, um, a promoted raid. So that's not a promoter rate, so I will keep on doing it back and forth until we get it. So hopefully we can get it pretty soon so it doesn't be too long. Uh, that's not a promoter rate. Uh, we'll keep on doing this. Should We should be able to get it pretty soon. Uh, that's one. That's one of the promoted raids. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to advance until we get one that's in the list. So by by mentioning this by the list is that it's not for some reason it's not in the promoted uh, event uh, list. And I'm not going to be able to find it if I don't get it uh, accurate. So what we're going to do, I'll show you what I mean. So in Raid Finder... Uh, there's this event tab, but Milseri 3 star is not on this list. Milseri uh, 1 star is, um, but it doesn't have the option to GMAX. So we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and do a date advance. So we're going to go ahead and hit invite others. And we're going to go to the settings. Scroll all the way down. Date time and move it just one day forward. And this will change our Pokemon to another promoted Pokemon, which should be Appleton or Lapras. Okay, three-star uh, Appleton. We can easily do that. So let's go ahead and save on that Appleton. Uh, I don't think we need to do the Appleton. Well, actually, yeah, let's just save it there as, as one frame. We'll save it here for the first frame, and that will be our technically our first frame of the Pokemon. So let's go ahead and take down this Appleton. We'll switch over to something that could kill it. Um, I'm pretty sure my, you know what? We'll just we'll just battle it with this. I'm pretty sure my level 100 Machamp should be able to take care of this. So what you want to do is you want to go into the battle and take it down. So after you're done taking it down, you want to go ahead and capture it. And that's about it. So I'll meet you after I capture this uh, Appleton. All right, and so we're done battling this Appleton. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a repeat ball to it. Repeat ball. Yeet. Now, I'm not sure if 
moving up a date will mess up our frame count. So we're gonna go ahead and save at least two days before prior to our frame. So hopefully I don't mess this one up and hopefully it's a lot shorter uh, to trade with the Doodoo Bot because it took me about an hour to trade with Doodoo. -doo. So, all right, awesome. We were able to capture our big chunky apple and <clears throat> God, my, my throat's crashing, I don't know why. So we're gonna try to attempt to trade with Doodoo Bot. So this is the trade code for Doodoo. -doo. Uh, I highly doubt that I'm gonna be able to get it right off the bat. Uh, that would be cool if I did. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. We'll see if I can get very, very extremely lucky and trade with Doodoo. -doo. I don't think we're gonna do it right off the bat. So it took me about an hour and a half just to trade with Doodoo, -doo, just to find out that I my frame is like 7,000 and up. So we'll see, we'll see. I highly doubt it, so. So we'll wait for the Doodoo. -doo. I don't think that was Doodoo, -doo, so. Yeah, that, that wasn't doo doo. Um, also, just giving a heads up, don't do what I just did. So, uh, hopefully that wasn't doo doo because I wasn't that I wasn't even looking. Just make sure you go into an empty box so you can see the name of the person. So, um, actually, I need to release this uh, military because I actually don't need it. It's just uh, being in the way. All right, so. Let's try to attempt to trade with Doodoo. -doo. I highly doubt we're gonna get it, but I'll come back to y'all when I'm done officially getting a trade with the Doodoo -doo bot and we can get a... All right, so we're back. As soon as you get your frame, you should see your IGN and the Pokemon that you trade in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that in our raid finder and it was a three-star Appleton, so... If we can find it, that would be great. It was G-Max. Appleton, generate. Oh no, oh, that's not good. That means that it is in even higher. Oh my God, are you freaking serious? Our frame is 12,000? All right, so it looks like our frame is 12,000. So we're gonna definitely reset this. It happens, it's really shitty because like I say, I when I first did this video, it was 300 and now I am getting punished for skipping the date. So we're gonna try to reset the dent again and I'll come back to it uh, when it's a little bit smaller, but it's basically the same step. We're just gonna, to reset the dent, which this is gonna happen. So we were able to trade with Doodoo, -doo, thanks God, but it doesn't really matter um, since it does, you know, the Pokemon is literally useless to it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and close up the game. So let's go ahead and reset everything. So let's go into here. For those who are curious on how to do it, do not do anything that's over a thousand. And uh, it's it, it's you're wasting your time. Trust me, uh, twelve thousand is not doable. So it seems like it's just going up and up and up. It's it's becoming even worse. So I'll show you what you need to do to reset your den. So after you trade with Doodoo -Doo and find out that it's too too much. All right. So it's still Appleton, as you can see. We don't need Appleton. So what are you gonna do to reset the den? You drop another wishing piece and you're gonna try to get another promoted raid from it. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, that, that would have been cool, but we don't need that. All right, cool. So we have another promoted Pokemon. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go ahead and capture it and then trade it to Doodoo -Doo, and I'll be right back when we do the trade, okay? And then, so we were able to trade with Doodoo. -Doo, so once you get the Doodoo -Doo bot, you're going to go ahead and insert it right here in the raid finder, which will be in the description below. You put it right here where it says seed. And then in my case, since I am trying to find the shiny military and my Pokemon was a three star Lapras, I choose three star Lapras event. And uh, it doesn't have to be that drastic, but my frame is 724 frames, meaning 724 days from now, my den will be shiny. So. 
we're going to do some math. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what I mean by that. We are in this website called time and date. So what you want to do is go ahead and change the date to your switch, which would be 0101 of 2000. So we just need to find out what is 700. What was it again? Let's see. 724 for our uh, shiny. So let's see one question. How much would have been for our square? That would have been... No, that's that's way too much. 97,000. Hell no. To the no, no. No, hell. To the no. All right, we're not going to do that. So we're going to do this right here. 724, which would be... It does not have the shine, the hidden ability. Uh, that's not the hidden ability, water absorb. I don't think so. I'll be right back. Let me double check if it is. All right, so it doesn't seem like this one has hidden ability. Now, I know with hidden ability, po like event Pokemon, they by default normally have a uh, hidden ability. So we're still going to do this one. Let me see how much it would have been for hidden ability. I don't think it would it would show. So it would be 8,000. So we're not doing that at all. So we're just gonna do this one, Water Absorb. I'm pretty sure it's gonna change because it's a event then. So we'll see, we'll see if it still has it or not. So we need to stop by 724. 724, which is doable. It's a little bit, it's under 1,000, which is manageable. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out what day is that. So I'm going to choose 02. Let's see if that's enough days. That's a little bit too much. So maybe 2001. 2001, uh, we're almost there. So about 11. All right, so be 12. And I think it was 24. So, So we have to exactly stop on the 22, I believe. 22, 23, 24. No, we have to stop on the 21st. So 12, 21 of 2001. So it'd be uh, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that is the four day trick you want to do. So 21, 22, 23, 24. And you keep on doing that over and over again. So you can shuffle out all the Pokemons in that event then that we're going to do. So, since we're starting off in 1 1 2000, we will have to stop exactly at 12 21 21 of 2001 because it'll be 21 22 23 24. So, I will have to remember that so I don't skip over like a buffoon like last time. Um, so what you want to do is another trick that we're gonna go over. So this trick, it is called the, the, the time skip trick, which I did learn from uh, Papa Hefe. He's been an amazing guy. I learned everything so far from him. I'll make sure I uh, include a link in the description to his uh, Twitch. He's an awesome dude. Go check him out. So I am going to go ahead and find this then for you guys. First thing first, we're going to go into the interweb and connect to uh, the internet and then we're gonna go into link battle. This is the link battle uh, Time skip trick. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it. If you haven't seen it um, This is how you do it. So as soon as we find an opponent, we're going to go into Airplane mode for those who are in handheld you guys are lucky You guys can just hold on the button the home button and the airplane mode options right there uh, So we found an opponent. So I'm gonna hold on the home button and turn in uh, turn on airplane mode so it gives us an error, uh, so you're gonna go ahead and close that up part. We never get to see our opponents, so it doesn't really count towards anything. Boom, there it is. So we're gonna go into the home manually and then turn off airplane mode. So it should give us a flicker. That's the flicker that we we're expecting. Okay, awesome. So now you can change the date without being in the den doing the whole invite others or whatnot. So for those who don't believe me, I'll prove it to you. Uh, let's see what what was our weather our weather is foggy so as soon as I change the date it should automatically change the weather 
boom it's raining okay so now that you know that you can manually change state you can do this many times until you reach your frames now there's a warning uh, about this you can do as many as you want but take a break make sure um, as soon as you pass that year mark you want to go back into the game and save also for big time skips as well don't do it in the wild area because your game will crash you want to go into the hyperbolic time chamber it's the Pokemon Center uh, that I call the Hyperbolic Time Chamber, which is right here, the first Pokemon Center in the game. So you want to go in there, and you want to do all your time skips. Remember, once you pass that year mark, go back into the game and save. So we're officially in here. We see Piccolo and everybody else, Goku training. So we're just going to go ahead and time skip. Now, the fastest way to do this um, is in handheld mode uh, for those who are doing this in the TV you gotta manually do this and then hit that and then go back here and you do that for every single day now there's a quicker way which I will show you really quick um, got my headphones um, and then turn on my Nintendo switch so right here right off the bat you it's touch screen for those who don't know that your Nintendo switch is touch screen you want to go ahead, here, there, there. Um, you go into there, and then the best way to do it, it's like this. It's a lot faster once you get used to it, and you keep on doing that until you uh, reach your shiny frame. In my case, I have to stop on 12, 21, 2001. So I will see you then on that year okay so we are officially back so uh just to show you what i've done i don't know why i'm looking over there instead of the main elgato um we're gonna to we did save on the 12 20. okay so it seemed like i messed up on my frames so for apparent reason i accidentally skipped a month by mistake and I'm going to show you how to find out where you're exactly at when it comes to your frame. Because it happens. It can happen to most of us. And I'm going to show you how you can tell what exactly, what frame you're on and what Pokemon and what steps you need to do to find out where you're exactly at when it comes to frames. Alright then, so we're back. So, our frame should be exactly on the 21st. So we're just going to go ahead and check if my math was off and um, this should work. This should be our shiny right here. And uh, let's give it a try. Let's see if the math of Rage Finder was correct. So hopefully this is the shiny frame right here. It is not. What is going on? What is really going on? It should be shiny. Let's go ahead and capture it. Let's see what's going on. Alright, so it's down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and capture it. So let's add it to the party. So what you want to go ahead and uh, go up here where the tools are at, IV calculator, boom. You don't even have to go to, um, you don't even have to go to Cerebi to do this. So what you're gonna do, first thing first, you want to check the, oops, you want to check the nature of the Pokemon. It's easier to do it this way. So, it's modest, so modest, right there, boom, awesome possums, and we're going to level it up to 100. This is very important to find out what frame you're at exactly. And then from here, this window, you just put level 100. 361, 185, 192, 250, 196, and 82.
boom. So it's 31, 31, 27, 23, 31, 17. Okay, awesome. So now you go back to this right here. So you're gonna go ahead and change its stats. So we're gonna put, uh, this is 31, so 31, uh, 31, change this to 27, change that to 27, 23, 23, 31, and then this is 17, and then this is 17. So you put any, any right here, and it should give us, so we're at 722, huh? How we're always off. Huh? So apparently we're off by two dates. So instead of 21, we have to stop on 21, 22, 23, on the 23rd. So let me restart my game. I restart my game and we'll stop on the 23rd. So let's go ahead and reset the date back to 12, 20 of 21. Boom, awesome. And then we go back into the game. So we're gonna do the same trick. We're gonna go to the versus trick and then change the date. And then I will test out on the 23rd to see if this is correct. I'll be right back. Also, I just wanted to let you know the reason why I changed my date to 12 20 of 20 of 2001 was because I saved on that date. In your case, you want to save at least, you know, maybe a month before just in case it messed up. Uh, so you can change it back to that exact date, and all you have to do is just do the math from that date and just figure out what is your shiny frame. So make sure you save at least a month when you're getting close to it. Uh, just in case if you messed up a couple days like i said you can do this trick to check what date you're on exactly just in case if it's not on the date that it's supposed to it's easy to do it from a month all you have to do is just go back to the link versus trick and then just reset it and then just save uh four days prior to your shiny so you can do the four day trick which i will show you what i mean by the four day trick okay all right, so we are back. Now we're back at 123 of 2002. So let's see if this works out now. This should be the shiny. We will find out. Let it be the shiny because I am literally confused if it's not. Yes, we got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I forgot to mention, so remember I was talking about this four day trick so, uh, so many times. So you wanna save four days prior to your shiny. So since it was the 23rd, so it'll be the 23rd, 22, 21, 20. So on the 20th, you, for my case, I would save. So starting off from 20, I would uh, move up a day, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and it will always shuffle out the fourth Pokemon. So uh, let's go back into the game. Um, I'll show you the, the old-fashioned way to move dates in-game without doing the versus trick because if you're going to be rehosting these over and over again, uh, doing the versus trick can be uh, a little bit tiring, I don't lie. Uh, so just doing it manually sometimes is just a little bit faster just to get it over with. So the old-fashioned way would just be uh, just clicking on them, invite others. You move up a day. Same thing, just keep on doing this over and over again until you hit the 23rd, which would be the shiny frame. And by the time you would find an opponent, it, this is how much it would have taken you. So it's a little bit faster when you're not doing it uh, for the date skipping. So this would be the shiny right here. Don't invite others. So just so you can see that it works.
There it is. So you can just press the bell with the heart type. It's like, it's blue. And it's like, there it is. So awesome. So, you basically, once you, uh, like, for example, you capture this or whatnot, if you don't want this Lapras, all you can do is just close out the game. So you can keep track of what date you're in. You just go back into here and then just set it back to the 20 and you just rinse and repeat. Now let's continue with the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it answered any questions you had on Doodoo Bot, Raid Finder, and whatnot, and how to find your shiny Pokemon on Dens. So if you're trying to find an other specific Pokemon other than event uh, Pokemons, make sure you stay tuned because I'll be doing that on my SW Calculator tutorial. So I'll be doing different Pokemons on there. So hopefully it teaches you how to find your shiny Pokemon manually without using the Doodoo Bot. It does take a little bit longer. That one's going to be a longer, more longer video than this one, trust me. So hopefully I can condense that down so you guys can feel less lost about it because it can be overwhelming on that program, but we'll walk through it together and hopefully we can find it uh, easily. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much. If you have any questions, ask them below uh, in the description below. Also, make sure you thumbs up this video if it helped you out. Share it with your friends, share it with your Discord uh, groups and whatnot. Hopefully, it helps them out to find event Pokemons and, and stuff. So also, if you want to find... Uh, more information about other stuff, you can follow me here on YouTube, uh, Discord, and Twitch. I'm mainly there all the time, so make sure you uh, find me there. So thank you so much for watching, and make sure you check out Papa Jefe. I learned all my stuff from him. He's an amazing uh, Twitch streamer and an amazing person running his own Discord. So make sure you check him out. This, he's going to be in the description below. All the stuff that you need is going to be in the description below. So hopefully it helped you out. And thank you so much for watching this video. And have an awesome day. Peace.